In some ways, the United States is a whole different world, totally different from every other place. So let's take a look at what's normal there that baffles people from the outside. One of the first things a foreigner notices when entering the country is flags. American flags everywhere. On buildings, like schools and houses. And on clothes, like shorts, t-shirts, you name it. Throughout history, Americans have changed 27 flags. The current American flag was only adopted in 1960 and is so far the longest lasting flag of the country. It wasn't created by the authorities though. In 1958, there was a contest for a design of the new American flag, and the winning flag was made by a 17-year-old high school student from Ohio. The reason why Americans love their flag so much is national pride. But why not so many countries do the same? Well, some countries avoid displaying them for historical reasons. Other countries only raise the flag on special occasions to highlight the importance of the event. Still, some countries display their flag as often as Americans do. In Denmark, people are quite proud of their flag too. They decorate the winter holiday tree and birthday cakes with them. And you can always find stickers with Danish flags, red and white candles, and other goodies with the flag in a grocery store. People in Sweden are also very much into their flag and have flagpoles everywhere. Now, let's go to a restaurant, shall we? Many things there are very specific to the states. Like, for example, tons of ice in every drink. Turns out there is some history to this preference. America has always had a lot of ice as a resource, since New England's lakes and rivers have a lot of those during winter. Centuries ago, before refrigerators and other helpful cooling machines, that kind of cold resource was very valuable, and the states started exporting ice to other parts of the world and also, of course, consuming it themselves. They started to put ice in their hot drinks in contrast to the British, who were always drinking their beverages hot. The ice in the drinks has become an American thing, and it was also considered a rich person's drink. Yep, the ice would also show a person's status. Of course, with time, when refrigerators appeared, ice became available to everyone, and Americans started to add it to their drinks commonly. The habit remained, but also, ice drinks are very refreshing, which is especially important in the hot south of the country. But if you come from abroad and don't want your drink freezing cold, always specify it to the waiter. The next striking thing is the huge portions that are served, and there is a reason for that too. It wasn't always like this, but in the second half of the last century, due to pesticides and fertilizers, farmers started to be able to grow more food than they used to. The government caught on, subsidizing them to grow even more food. So, the amount of available food increased. Over time, companies started to increase the sizes of their portions. Why serve less food and get less money if you can serve a bit more and also charge more? That's good for business, and it's a win-win. Customers get more food for just a little bit more money. So, larger portions stuck. Okay, now we need to take a little toilet break. And, surprisingly, there are a lot of foreigners who find American toilets weird. First, what's up with those huge gaps in bathroom stalls? Let's start with the more obvious part, gaps on the bottom of the doors. Those are quite common, even outside the US, and they serve several purposes. First, you can see if there's a person inside without trying to break into an occupied stall. Second, it provides some ventilation and makes it easier to clean the floor in the bathrooms. The gaps on the sides are more questionable. Of course, people on the outside can't see everything going on behind the door, but still, there's not much privacy whatsoever. In most other countries, the gaps are either negligible or non-existent. So what's up with them in America? I did some research. Some sources say that since every inch of material is expensive, wide gaps are made to reduce the costs of bathroom stalls. Other sources say that when people feel exposed like this, they have fewer incentives to do something illegal in public bathrooms. 
Next observation, American toilets have way more water in their bowls in comparison to, for example, European ones. The reason is that those types of toilets use different flashing systems, and an American one needs more water to flush effectively. In many countries, especially in Asia, most bathrooms have bidets, which are used for after toilet cleaning, and tourists don't understand why Americans wouldn't adopt those too. After all, if you step in mud, you'll go and wash your foot instead of just wiping it off with a tissue. The same logic works here. Also, it reduces toilet paper usage. So it's more sustainable and it's environmentally friendly. Some say there's a strong stigma in America around bidets that is extremely hard to overcome. Others say that toilets in the US don't have enough room to install a bidet. So they don't have those, especially if there are other well known ways. Before we leave the restaurant, we need to tip the waiter. Tipping in the United States is way more common than in most other countries. You're expected to tip any service person who helped you with something. While some kind of tipping exists in some other countries, the extent of it is smaller. And there are also countries like Japan and Denmark where tipping isn't a thing at all. Those countries have minimum wage laws that dictate decent wages employers must pay their workers. This way, the need to pay money to service stuff isn't pushed onto the customers. By the way, here's one more fact about the prices. Probably the craziest thing in the States tourists have to adapt to are prices in stores. The tax isn't included into the displayed price and is added on top while checking out. So people who are short on money can't pre calculate the price they will have to pay to make sure that they have enough money. But really, why is it so? The main reason behind such a weird policy is transparency. This way, taxpayers know how much tax they pay and can resist raising the tax rate in case it comes on the national agenda. Also, it allows buyers to compare the costs of products across states fairly, since tax rates may differ. So, if the tax isn't included, you compare the actual bread costs between Alabama and Alaska, for example. In some places in America, it's not very easy to get around unless you travel by car. In some regions, there's often no sidewalk taking you to the closest convenience store or a crosswalk, allowing you to cross the road right in front of the store. The main reason for that is probably the fact that the United States is a big country with vast lands and everything is spread out. Neighborhoods can be scattered around. Wide suburban territories quite far away from one another, so that's already far from being walking distance. And sidewalks aren't needed because, yes, no one's walking. Studies show that Spanish or Germans walk at least twice as much as Americans. But in those countries, everything is way closer. And last and not least, you guessed it the imperial system. It's based on the human body. A foot is an average foot size of a person, so you might think it's quite intuitive for anyone. Well, no. Foreigners are incredibly confused with feet, inches, gallons, and Fahrenheit, and tend to convert it all to the familiar metric system. Well, in this sense, the British are even more confusing. Those guys use both imperial and metric systems. For height, it's mostly feet and inches, but for weight, kilograms. Great Britain used to have the imperial system. But later, they were forced to switch to the metric system. So now, they're using a combination. Whatever helps to be more precise. That's it for today. So, hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.